Did you know that it is now possible for any investor to delegate their Pulse tokens to earn rewards at the same time, this is part of the new updates to the Pulse Chain project. In this video, we will talk about staking and delegating your Pulse Chain tokens to the validator to earn money by staking Pulse Chain, and also how to trade on the clone trading platform on Pulse Chain Testnet. So stay tuned and watch this video until the end, because we will show you the latest development updates that took place behind the scenes of Pulse Chain Testnet. Hi Cryptopreneurs, welcome back to the channel. We are giving away $1,000 to 10 lucky winners. Each winner will get $100 to start their crypto journey. All you need to do is like the video, subscribe, comment on your favorite crypto coin in the comments section, and register yourself on our giveaway link in the description. Winners will be announced in our videos and Telegram group. You should also consider joining our channel as a member. Our members enjoy cool perks, free merch, exclusive deals, and more. Now, without further ado, let's get started. With the release of Testnet V2, it is now possible to become a validator and delegate your PLS to your favorite validators. So, what is a validator? Validators are Pulse Chain nodes that check the validity of each transaction and generate new blocks. The 33 validators with the most Pulse or PLS will validate or reject transactions. When they validate a transaction and generate a new block, they receive a financial reward. The gas fees you have to pay on Pulse Chain, or any other blockchain for that matter, to make a transaction, are paid in part to the validators. 75% of all gas fees on Pulse Chain go to validators and their delegators. We pay them to verify the legitimacy of each transaction and keep Pulse Chain alive and well by producing new blocks. The remaining 25% is burned to reduce the supply of PLS in circulation, which encourages PLS deflation. On December 10, 2021, PulseChain Testnet V2 was released, and staking, delegation, registration, and validator rotation are activated via the official staking website. We have put the link in the description. Curious how this works? Well, PulseChain relies on a proof-of-staked authority (POSA) consensus mechanism, which is a combination of delegate proof-of-stake (DPoS) and proof-of-authority (POA). POSA allows 33 validators to verify transactions and validate blocks. POSA takes the principles of democracy, such as voting and the use of an electoral process, and brings it to the blockchain. The largest pulse holders, PLS, can lock their PLS to become a validator, and all other PLS token holders can delegate their tokens to their preferred validators. It empowers people to protect pulse chain from malicious attacks and centralization. This process is a form of staking. You may have noticed this from the title of this video. It will now be possible for anyone to stake and trade on the Pulse Chain platform. So, when trading is online, staking will be online too, and when the main network is online, you will be able to act faster. Quick reminder, Pulse Chain transactions are very fast. And guys, the price potential of this coin and this whole ecosystem is just astronomical in our opinion. So, it's important to be excited, and look at what staking as well as trading on this platform, could look like. What we have is a delegated proof of stake system. That means there are only 33 validators. Okay, validators are people who run nodes, that validate blocks. So, validators essentially add blocks to the blockchain. They confirm transactions, or sets of transactions, for a small fee. Now, to be a validator, you have to have a lot of hardware, that you and I probably don't have. So, it's kind of a full-time job to be a node validator because you're running a server and you have to have, you know, redundancy and backups and you have to be a network administrator type person. So, if you don't want to have that responsibility, you can delegate your tokens to a validator to earn a percentage of those transaction fees that are made every time someone does something on the Pulse Chain blockchain. So, chances are you are not one of these 33 validators but you can choose who you want to delegate your stake to. That's what delegated proof of stake means. It means that you can technically stake your coins, but you don't have to become a validator and have all the overheads associated with that status. You can just delegate it to a guy 
who will do the work for you, and he will pay you a small share of the revenue he chooses. Take for example, a guy who does 50% revenue sharing, and this can be sadly customized for each validator. You may see another person who is doing 100% revenue sharing, very generous, 66%, 99%, 86%, everything will be customized to what the validator wants to do. You can go and check the offer yourself for each validator. We have put the link in the description. Important updates will be posted when Pulse Chain is officially online. So, guys, if you don't want to miss anything, we invite you to subscribe. Because we will bring you these updates in due course. With this, here comes the end of the video. We hope you guys found this video tremendously valuable, and especially entertaining. Be sure to check out our crypto brand, called Cryptopreneur, the original, crypto merch brand. We have an amazing collection of crypto designs, on t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and more, check them out, at www.cryptopreneur.com. Use code, YT10, for 10% off, at checkout. Link will be in the description, and also make sure to subscribe, so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Till next time, goodbye.